as editor in chief of Lit Mag, please submit to Lit. If you'd like poetry, just do it. Yeah. Yes, Maya. Woo! Yeah, Maya. Okay. This is a poem about my stepbrother, Juna. He's been worried about his vitals, which the doctor reassured him are fine. Dad's been worried about his mental standing. The doctor said he's been showing signs. The doctor says he's in decline. Dad nods and oh, but says it's fine. It's just high functioning autism and schizophrenia combined. My stepbrother screaming, it's too loud inside his, my, his mind. His parents not seeming to mind. Screams, it's the bugs he needs to find. His parents paying him no mind. He broke apart the computer. Parents brushing breakdowns off with humor. Parents, his self endured struggle producers. He'll be fine later or sooner. His fine lines growing fewer. Frightened false reality viewer, I can hear them, he promises. The darkest parts of his mind establishing dominance. No parents understanding mental illness is prominent. No parents too scared of uncles with sickness is anonymous. No parents should leave him lost in his subconsciousness. Please, I can hear them. And Juna, I can hear you. They didn't listen to me either, but still treat me like your equally troubled preacher because we're both strange sentence speakers, fee hours, sleepers, germ cautious eaters, demon keepers, brain and body beaters, self sacrificing leaders, silence seekers, both only growing weaker. The voices weren't bugs, but their words still sting. They're quiet now, but my ears still ring. Crazy doesn't mean just one thing. I had stuffed animals who warned me of fathers abusive and scratched faces and ceilings who were my friends when elementary school kids were feeling particularly exclusive. A parallel girl who hit me with my own mistakes as harsh blows and the boy with curly hair who waited by my window. He promised when he killed me it'd be like a firefly, I'd still glow. Nobody helped just watch it happen like it was their new favorite TV show. Tune in on the next episode to see down which destructive delusional path Maya will go. The one that takes her to rock bottom and below. <laughs> but Juna, crazy doesn't have to confine you to just one de definition. You're still a beautiful minded being beyond your illness's intricate exposition. You don't have to be ashamed of your unwanted interpretations, internal altercations, imaginary relations. People live with these conditions, but when paid the proper attention and given a fair chance, a fair chance for communications, parents forced you into hospitalization, parents forced you into cross. Parents forced you into cooperation, ignore your desperation. Yes, you need help, but from people who are supposed to love you, not some crazy kid prison. You aren't equipped for institutionalization. They can't just drop you off when dad works and mom wants a vacation. You can't just hand him headphones and feed him medication. You can't just pretend that these developments didn't change him. Despite my age and minus blood relation, it's every day that I find myself in this painful position. In understanding others' arms you should be in, we'd take you in as our own so that you could be free, then we'd treat you like you were human. I think I know how to help, but parents counter all possible confrontational conversations. Maya, it's just not your place to be in. He's still worried about his vitals, which the doctor once more tells him are okay. I'll never not be worried about his reaction to reality. His ailments won't just fade away. While his heart beats steady, mind pumps in pain, wishing to put an end to his paranoid thoughts. His respiration is controlled and heavy, physical stability, a side effect of every just breathe he's been taught. His temperature is temperate, but his temper short and hot, screams in public, please just make it stop. His blood pressure is normal, but his brain is not. He can't be cured. Imagined images never pure. His crazy might not get better. He can't just shut these things out or off or be sheltered. He can't erase all that he's felt and heard. He won't ever be fixed or altered. The hum of June bugs may never falter, but Juna, you don't have to accept their offing offers or play the part of prepubescent pill popper. You aren't designated to decisions made by doctors. I can't promise sanity or even bearable living while bothered because Juna, vitals can't always be monitored. And this kind of crazy isn't something you can conquer. Your glasses aren't making you go blind. Your medicine won't manipulate your mind. May beetles may never fall quiet or behind. And Juna, if I can promise you one thing, it's that you won't be fine. <laughs>